the mighty of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, my God. 
that don't make you glad. Hallelujah. That you know that you belong to him. Yes. Hallelujah. In spite of what the devil said. Yes. See, the devil can't blackmail you because he don't, you don't belong to him. The devil can only blackmail you when you play around his territory. Yes. But when you are all the way in God, yes. the devil can't blackmail you. That's right. He can't bring up nothing from your past. Because I'm in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Sin no longer has no over on me. Hallelujah. I'm forgetting those things which are behind. You can remember, but I'm forgetting. Thank you, Jesus. You can keep talking about it, but I'm going to move towards the mark. I'm, I'm going after what's greater than my past. There's something greater than my past, and I'm not talking about the future. I'm talking about the moment. I'm pressing toward not a bucket list, not gold. Some goals ain't got nothing to do with God. But I'm pressing <laughs> toward the mark. And the mark represents the standard. I set a standard before you. That's your mark. You, 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 you press toward the standard. <laughs> Y'all are ready. And when you reach the standard, you ready for the prize. Now, if that ain't motivation to get you out of those of the team, I don't know what to do. I don't know what else it's going to take to get you out of the pit. If he said, if you can, if you can, if you can press, which means it's going to cost. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, it's not going to cost you cash, it's going to cost you comfort. It ain't going to cost you cash, you can't pay for this with money. Sex can't pay for this. I can't get no help. All of the flesh and stuff can't, can't pay for this. It's going to cost you your comfort. How much comfort you got in your account? <laughs> it's going to take every dime to press. See, pressing is, is a denying. I'm preaching already. Pressing is a denying of oneself. I press towards the mark. The mark is the pride. <laughs> People are not proud. <laughs> you missed it. A career is not a pride. A car, a house, those are not prizes. Hallelujah to God. Let me know those things are not prizes. The mark that God set is the prize.
He's he not even using any of his tools. That's right. He's using a tool called love. Wow. Wow. I told somebody the other day that ignorance is your real task yes. not a person. That's why the Bible says in all of your getting, get an understanding. It is ignorance that is real slavery. Because once you come into the knowledge of the truth and you get an understanding, no thing can enslave you. <laughs> Lord, I don't know what it's going to take. What can separate you from the love of God? And then it start naming stuff. Shall tribulation? That's one of the number one thing that separates people from God. They can't even get past it.
still alive. Yes. I don't want no dead, Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can't lord over me if you're not living. I need you living. Yes. But God, hallelujah, lord over my life. Yes. So that I won't live the life I want to live. But I will live the life you want me to live. Lord over me. Good God on my that's a word right there. Lord over me, Lord. Lord over me, Lord. That's what Lord, that's what the Lord do. Lord over you. I need you to Lord over me. If you Lord over me, you won't have to save me so much. Good God on my the reason why we all be saved is because we don't want him to lord over us. If you lord if you lord over me, yes, sir. Lord over me. you won't have to keep getting me out of this and this. Not that. It's always this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You ain't got time to live me for that. Because <laughs> you still stuck in this. And if you just if, if 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 you just let him lord over you, if you just let the Lord lord over you and lead you and guide you and direct you, what is and you listen to the Lord. Now what's the point of asking him to lord over you if you're not willing to listen? Oh my God. Oh my God. You, you, Lord, I, I need, I need you to, I need you to, I need you to lead me. Are you going to listen? Woo. Woo. Because part of being led is listening. You can't be led outside of listening. Oh, because whoever you listen to, that is your Lord. Save to Jesus. From what? If you just let him Lord over you, he'll deliver you for the last time. He, he, he will deliver you from the last time from that. What has he delivered you from? Don't keep telling me what you get delivered in. What have you been delivered from? When, when, watch this. When was the last time you testified? Because the last time you testified is the last time you were delivered. Because they overcame him. Him who saved him. By the blood of the Lamb. And by the words of their testimony. See, you don't testify to act as good. It's, it's foolish to testify before. And you call it speaking by faith. Good call. I can't get no <laughs> You ain't speaking about no faith. That's foolish. You can't testify until you have witness of that which you have both seen and heard. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pre praise. Uh, you praise because you got breath. You praise because he's worthy. You praise because it's he. You don't pre-praise and refuse to go through. Because praise is not going to pick you up and, and, and skip over what you need to go through. You can't use praise as a substitute for not going through suffering. Boy, if I can preach that to the whole world, Hundreds upon thousands upon millions will get the middle. Because you cannot pervert praise. 
You cannot manipulate praise. You cannot manipulate God with praise. That's called flattery. And flattery is coming from a seducer spirit. Good God. Hallelujah, God. Your comments are laced with manipulation. Your worship is laced with manipulation. Lord, I worship you. Why? 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 What do you want, y'all? What are you trying to get out of God? That your holy living will get from God to you, even if you don't want to live right. You're rather flattering. Wow. It ain't gonna work. No way, God. I'm just gonna tell you. God. It ain't gonna work. You can't flatter God. The Bible. Watch this. The Bible says that angels. They worship him all day long. Yes, sir. We get in worship. The birds are chirping. The flowers are singing. The trees are waving. Working, you ain't put no blame in you. 
And I ain't about to get sick. Watch this. I'm not about to allow your comfort to make me sick. Oh, oh, they don't like that. Hallelujah to God. They don't like that. It's just, mother, let me come and go here. Now, mother, now, mother, he said, what was I talking about? What was I talking about? Long yourself like life. Huh? Long yourself like life. How long yourself like life? What else I was saying? Long yourself like life. Before that. Let's see what y'all listen. And then he gives you the power to look death in the face. Yes. 
and say, in the name of Jesus, I ain't ready to go home yet. No matter how painful it is, no matter how, watch this, no matter how much I fight wanting to get out of here. See what I'm talking about, dude. Uh, we don't talk about that. We don't talk about that. Because, watch this, watch this, because we believe that heaven is always the answer. But we don't want to suffer. <laughs> heaven is the easy way out. Yeah. I don't think y'all are ready for this. Heaven is always the easy way out. When you don't want to go through the season of suffering. When you don't want to endure any pain. When you want to be, when you want to be accepted and not rejected. Now wait, 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 wait. I thought heaven was a place of reward. So if it, is, if it is a place of reward, then you don't qualify to get rewarded until you first finish your work. <laughs> So you don't have the legal right to ask God to come and get you early to reward you for something that you didn't even do to earn. That's why he didn't come and get you. That's why the next morning your little beady eyes are going right up. Because he ain't going to reward you when you haven't completed what he told you. That means he's reward disobedience. And if he reward disobedience, then hello see and here I come. See, y'all ain't doing it. I'm telling the truth. Because sin is nothing but disobedience. That's right. All who live in sin, they live in disobedience. That's right. And when they seek to obey God, they'll stop sinning. We make this thing so hard. We make it so difficult. When God has given us the way of escape and He's given us the grace, shall we continue? I ain't got nothing about it. Shall we continue to sin that grace may abound? Guess what? God forbid. Not so. That's what God forbid. Ain't happening. No way, Jose. You don't have no right, no life. To take grace as a scapegoat. <laughs> to pay your tithe in the sin saloon. You can't, you can't tell the bartender to keep them coming. And then you pay it forward with grace. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. You can't keep doing what you're doing, hallelujah, to please the flesh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. When Paul already told you, you got to beat that joke. You got to learn how to fight, you understand? You ain't got to go out into the world and pick no fight with nobody to learn how to fight. Practice on your flesh. Uh, I want to introduce you to. Hallelujah! <laughs> 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 I stayed away from that side. That was a clown over there. Yeah. Well, I'm coming back over here. They used to be close. I don't know what happened, buddy. You done, you done kicked me out of the club. I don't know where she's going to end up. She was sitting in the back window. <laughs> Call him a problem back there. <laughs> Praise the Lord. She might call him a problem. She's back there co cracking up with what she was doing. But yeah, these clowns over there, I got step with over there. <laughs> but see, y'all see what I'm saying? God knows. 
what you can take. Yes. Stop saying what you can't take. Yes. Amen. And you, you, y'all ever notice every time you say that, you put a little bit more? Yes. 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 Wow. I'm sick of this. You ain't sick enough. That's right. That's right. Mm-hmm. It get on my nerves. Which one? You got so many in your body, you don't know what's going on. Right, you, you, you ever notice you don't hear people call out which nerve it is? That's right. Matter of fact, you get on my nerves. Nerve, you got one more. Well, you get on my nerves, well, which nerve is it? You folks don't even know which nerve is what in their own body. They ain't paying no attention in no... In, learning the nervous system. All they know is you're getting on my nerves. <laughs> Y'all been saying that. Yeah, the last nerve. Now how you know? That's a good point. You get, you get on my last nerve. How you know that's the last nerve? They don't know. You know what it is. My God, y'all point your hand up here. She's talking about another thing. Y'all, y'all point your hand up on me. Somebody done this. Jesus. Boy. Somebody. They talking about another sandwiches. Not the lonely sandwiches. Not the main sandwiches. See. What I'm trying to make is, he knows. Isn't it something? Uh, y'all remember that time we did that demonstration with the rubber bands? Yes. And we, it was different sizes and we pulled them and we, we equate that to faith mm-hmm. and how you, God will stretch you mm-hmm. when he wants to grow you. And mature you. And you can fight it. But it ain't gonna stop the stretch. Because the more you move, the more tension he put on you. <laughs> Watch this. He don't put attention on you. He put tension on you. <laughs> and folks, watch this. When they refuse to mature and grow, they seek attention, not tension. When God wants to grow you, he'll put people in your life that will bring you tension. Mm-hmm. They, they, see, they, 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 they're not ready. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. But when you want to stay immature and you want to stay childish and you don't want to put away childish things, you will always connect and surround yourself around attention workers. But when God wants to mature you, grow you, and do something in you, he will place you in the midst of tension. We don't like tension. Especially when you got the victim mentality. Tension is interpreted as attack. (laughs) You're trying to attack me. You coming against me. And then you all of a sudden you remember the scripture, no weapon. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Teach Gary. Yes. Huh? Yes. Now all of a sudden you start quoting scripture and it ain't got nothing to do with your process. The spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against, against, watch this, this they change, they change the end. The, the, when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him. They'll say, the spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him. Yes. 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 Ain't no devil in there. It's him. Yeah, who? Satan. Serpent. The devil. Be yes. above. Lucifer, who got fired. See that right there? And then we, yea, no outlaw. 
through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil. Now people are evil. Because you can't handle the tension. Thank you, Jesus. You can't handle the tension of the making. You can't have the attention of molding you. You can't have the tip, you can't have the attention of crucifying you. Amen. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You can't have the attention of deliverance. Uh oh. Wait a minute. Because we don't think deliverance comes. We don't think deliverance uh, don't come without tension. Yes, sir. We don't like rejection and not realizing that rejection. It's the tension that God is using to keep you from stop trying to connect with people that ain't with you and for you. Because watch this, if they're not for God, they can't be for and with you. I don't know why we're looking over there. Y'all know I don't apologize when I'm being late. I made eye contact with you for, for a reason that. Amen. You, you can't, you just, it, it ain't going to work. Right. It'll always be tension. Yes. And you can't figure out why. That's right. Don't you know that things can be going good? Mm -hmm. This is my belief right here. Don't you know that things can be going good and still be tension? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. 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 And you would interpret that as the enemy trying to disrupt y'all peace. You will look at it as a demonic attack when the truth is things are going good. Uh oh. But you still got tension? Uh oh. Could it be that he's after one of you? I'm talking about God. Yes. Yeah. Could it be that he's after one of y'all? Or both of y'all? Or all of y'all? Y'all ain't ready. I must be preaching to deliver Temple Switzerland. Good night. Yes. Mother Ann, I don't know. I don't know where you've been. I got to get out of here. I got to get out of here. I got to get out of here. It's Second Sunday. I got to get out of here. Hallelujah. <laughs> We do. <laughs> you sure we want to be singing with them? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. I'm listening to, listening to the member today. Yeah, pray, pray for Mandy Pop. This is Mandy Pop today. Touch the Lord in Jesus' name. Wherever she is, touch her. Strengthen the Lord. Jesus' name. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. So, as we um, land this plane, as we bring the ship in to the port, as we as we pull the truck into the dock, as we pull the train into the station, amen, uh, as we pull the bus into the terminal, praise God. Hallelujah. Uh, thank you. Thank you, baby. Thank you. Hallelujah. Look at that little bit that Look at the one there. I'll see you too, baby. I'll see you too. Hey, 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 man. Amen. Amen. Thank God for the baby. Because sometimes grown folks get stingy, you know what I'm saying? With their little amen. Their little amen is going to strike. Praise God. Hallelujah. Out of the mouth of, out of the mouth of babies come forth perfected prayer. <laughs> He'll never leave himself without wit. <sighs> so, as we conclude, he knows the way that I take. That's how he knows the way that I take. He knows the way that I take. Wait a minute. Wait just a minute. He knows the way that I take. Wait a minute. Even the way I take 
that I didn't check with him first. See, they thought I was going another way. <laughs> they, thought, they thought I was going the way. God knows the way that I came. That's a good man. I was by the Lord. No, 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 no. John said he knows the way that I, 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 not the way that God put before me, not the path he set for me. He knows the way that I came. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Watch this. Watch the next thing he said. And when he has tried me. Amen. See, sometimes God will give you a little room to see how much you really trust him. God will allow you to test your own commitment. What 
that we hear. Sound like some shenanigans to me. Boy, y'all like, boy, I can buy 25 cents. 25 cents to get all of y'all boys. I just go down the, I just go down the road. Four, thirty-five minutes. Let me get that right there. Two, four, five. Sorry, what the deal, man? Huh? That was not bad. My bad, that was that was not bad. Yes, sir. See, that's why the scripture says, "Some through the fire." Some through the flood. Yes, yes, yes. Some through great trials. Yes. Now, now, all of that I'm naming, none of it sounds good. Right. But you know, those folks get the judgment when they start saying that. Some through the fire. Woo! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, praise the Lord. Turn, 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 turn. Including the Joker. They have the Google fire. Uh, uh, it's uh, some through the fire, some through the flood. They ready? See, that's, that's praise dad's language. Because they don't have an understanding. Because they had not been through some through the fire. Some through the flood. You, would, you ain't going to be ready to do no praise breaking. Until after the process. See, the only reason why they get ready for the praise break because of the latter part of the verse, but thou, O God, has brought us out into a wealthy place. Now, hold on, hold on, hold up, hold up, hold up that, uh, 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 each and peace. Because how are you ready to jump in front of all of us who done survived the fire? And the flood. And great trial. Not just, not just a trial, great trial. Yes. Glory. You refuse to go through anything. Yes. You, you don't want to do nothing. Yes. And you ready to jump into the wealthy place in front of those of us who've been waiting for years? Yes. Who done suffered for Christ for years? Yes. You can tell by a person's response to a thing whether they have an understanding of that thing or not. See, if you never, uh oh, if you never experienced heartbreak, but you've always been the heartbreaker. They 
know the Lord. That's right. Some of y'all grown siblings. You can help them up. That's right. And maybe you the sibling. Why the hell are you for? Oh, they don't like that. <laughs> Let me borrow something. When you gonna borrow something? When you gonna taste out of that? That's right. When are you coming with good times and great joy? That's right. Amen. Brother, they don't like that. Pressure button. We all need to rescue Christ.
Cleanse your minds, you double minded. See, see, y'all understand that. See, they don't want to go with that. Because when, because you gonna have to be willing to do that if you're going to draw nigh. You can't get close to me and keep the same old mind and the same old heart. You can't expect to be anointed, carry my anointing, carry my glory with the same old heart and the same old mind. So if you're going to draw nigh to me, you're going to have to change the way you think. And you're going to have to change your heart. You see, you see, 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 they don't quote that part because, uh oh, that's, that's a charge. When, when there's a charge, that means there's a cost. You can't get without paying the cost. <laughs> Boy, y'all done put the baby to sleep. So that I will not get no amen for that. Mother, you might need to find you another side. No. Uh, I mean, you, you come over this side, but you always come back. Get those things. <laughs> Are you the fourth person I don't look at? <laughs> I will tell you what side I'm really on, but I ain't want to start my ride out here. Why don't you curse God in that? That's the word. 
He could not get the right word from nowhere. Can you imagine that? All the people that you look to to get the encouragement and all of that, everybody's saying what you need to do that is totally opposite of what God is doing. And God knew what God did. God, uh, he just removed everybody. And say, uh, you don't even have no idea how I'm going to bless you in the end. God looked at him like, I know how the story is. Right. <laughs> See, God don't mind taking from you when he knows what he's going to add to you. Intimidated by the repossession. Because he already know what he's going to restore you with. Some stuff needs to be repossessed. But it has nothing to do with the restoration. Sometimes what he repossessed, what he possessed that he repossessed, is sometimes the blockage from what he wants to do. See, we always get caught up with what he's doing on the outside of us. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. How blessed are you on the Amen. inside? Amen. I see. I see you got a, a, a nice whatever, but do you look that nice in here? walk in your house and see all the decorations and see all the color schemes and see all of that, all the work knots. Uh oh. How you look inside of you? Does your natural house match your spiritual house? Yeah, I see you got a nice car, but how you look inside? <laughs> oh, 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 you take all the outside stuff to get washed and clean. You, 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 you got a clean bill and you, you, you go to the car wash. Do you go to the heart wash? Mm -hmm. I gotta go. Thanks y'all ready to go eat. Let's, just, let's leave them alone. Let's go eat. Yeah. <laughs> they don't like this. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You go to the cleaner to get your little suit clean and your little outfit. But when the last time you took your mind to the clean room? When the last time you went and took your soul to get it back in the house? Who's the man with the personal truck? Mr. Favor in the house.
your family life. Is there still a breach and a gap between you and your siblings and your, your loved one? Teach pastors. Yes, Lord. Because I'm going to tell you something. God does not just want you to have a relationship with your church spiritual family. He wants you to have a relationship with your natural family. Your biological family. Thank you for the class. Because I told you, brother. I told you, the fact that you were a woman, man. Word up. Word up. I'm just saying, I ain't playing. Okay, see, now no, 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 watch this. Watch, watch this revelation. He said, we need mother. That's what he said. He said, we need mother. Now let me show you. Let me show you something. Because you know, I, I make a sermon out of everything. He said, we need mother. See, but if mother moves, it will cause you to be needed. Wait a minute. See, now don't worry about it. I'm going I'm, 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 I'm to bring your man in just a minute. Because if you need mother to stay, why is it that mother can't move? Because you want her to stay. That is holding you from coming forth. Because if mother moves, that means somebody is need to move up. So mother don't move. We need you to stay. Now, I'm glad you said that because that's the point. Yes, sir. That's what we do. Sometimes we want people to stay put. Yeah. Because it would keep us comfortable. Because yeah. yes, if she moves, that means somebody needs to move up yes. to fill the space. Yes. And sometimes me moving on uh -huh. makes room for the next person to move up. Right. Got banana. 
pink, red, brown, beige. Wow. Everybody, everybody matches today. Somebody sent out an email or something? No. No? Everybody just had to put on blue, gray, and all of that. Green? Wow. That's wow. That's all right. Even the ushers is magic. Got mm -hmm. them all white. You can't go wrong the wrong way. Praise the Lord. So we thank the Lord for the word today. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's allow the process to do. Let patience have her perfect work. So we, the Bible says, once you let patience have this, her perfect work, you, you, you will, you will walk for nothing. Patient in entirety, walking nothing. So that tells me that patience is the fulfillment. You don't get fulfilled till you uh, 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 yield to patience. Yes. Wow. Thank you. you won't discover what, what it really means to be fulfilled until you walk in pain. Boy, ain't nobody gonna sign up for that class. <laughs> See, they were shocked a few minutes ago. Y'all hear that? Oh, that's ooh, that's great. Some of you quicker than ain't quicker than years. Dust will swear all over you, bro. Patience. See me? The Bible, I'm telling y'all, listen, y'all think I'm a pitch just running my mouth. You are living beneath your privilege because you won't do the book. You, you sitting up here trying to seek seek fulfillment and happiness in people and in stuff. And the Bible says, what you're looking for is impatience. You, but you don't want that. You don't want that because patience is going to uh -oh, cost you what you want. Patience. Oh the Lord. Be a uh oh. Wait a minute. So patience doesn't just produce fulfillment, it also produces courage. It takes courage to be patient. <laughs> oh my God. It takes courage. It takes courage to conquer ambition. It takes courage to stand up to impatience. It takes courage to rebuke entitlement. It takes courage. It takes courage to say no. It takes courage to confront anything that tries to break you and to take you out of the will of God for your life. It takes courage. It takes courage to obey God. It takes courage. It takes courage to deny the flesh. It takes courage. It takes courage. It takes courage to cast out every imagination. And every high name to try to exalt itself. I'm trying to get out of here. Against the knowledge of God. It takes courage to stand there for in the liberty. Yes, well, it's Christ. Don't you know it takes courage to be free? Yes, you gotta be courageous to be free. Yes, you gotta be courageous to refuse to continue to be bound by the same man. Yes, I refuse to be poisoned. I got courage yes, to have peace yes, and soundness of mind. Courage. It takes courage to be saved, especially in a time like this. Yes, yes, when so much is happening and so much compromise and so much, so much of us, all the stuff that we see, it takes courage to say, I refuse to pretend to be saved. I choose to be saved. Take courage. Laugh at me, pick at me, all you want. Talk about me, 
you differently, but I'm saved. Hallelujah. I don't do that, but I'm saved. Hallelujah. I don't go over there, but I'm saved. Hallelujah. You can't come by my house, because I'm saved. Uh oh, wait. I don't watch that, because I'm saved. I don't listen to that. I'm saved. You religious. Uh-uh. I'm saved. Have you got your religion? No, nope. I got salvation. Yes. I'm saved. Yes. There's a difference. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm one of his. Make no mistake about it. I'm trying to figure out, you gotta figure out, I'm here. Don't you see him all over me? You see him, you see him? Don't you see? You can tell who I am by how I act. Yeah. Oh, yeah. My life ought to reveal you who I belong to. <laughs> so we need it for the, we need to quit talking so much. And start doing more. Yes. Look at it. Stop trying to convince people that you saved. That's right. Just be saved. Yes. And the fruit will speak for yes. yes. <laughs> I got the whole thing. You ain't got to, you ain't got to broadcast that. Just, 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 just keep being late. <laughs> okay, all right. Can't just keep letting the fruit of the Spirit be seen through your life. Right. Yeah. I got the Holy Ghost, but where's the fruit of the Spirit? Amen. Mm -hmm. It is the fruit of the Spirit right. that is the proof yeah. that you have the Spirit. Right. Yeah. You can't expect to operate in the gifts of the Spirit and not walk in the fruit of the Spirit. Yeah. So many people desiring and seeking to walk in the gifts of the Spirit, but they ain't living and walking in the fruit. It is walking and living in the fruit of the Spirit that, that qualifies you to be used in the gifts of the Spirit. The fruit comes first. The fruit does not come after the gift. The gift is the reward for walking in the fruit. You can't expect God to use you in the gift of the Spirit and you refuse to walk in His fruit. You want to be used, but you don't walk in, you don't love people. How are you going to pray for people you don't love? <laughs> How are you going to speak a word to somebody that you don't love? You ain't even walking in love. Long suffering. Patience, uh oh, man, where are Meekness, gentleness. You ain't even nice. Uh -huh. Why you got all the security and on there? Because you ain't nice. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. You ain't nice. Oh, yeah. rude, sir. You don't need no security. You need somebody to go up that way. Josh, they need to be jacked up one good time. That'll humble them. Don't let them touch me. Right. Somebody need to be waiting on you right outside. <laughs> you need you need the hands of somebody to bring you this reality that you are not all that. Love. Love. What is that? Love flaunted not itself. It does not act unseemly. Full of glory. See, we think unseemly just means misbehaving. No, it means that, but unseemly also means you acted ugly, acting better than what you really are. You acted very unseemly. You untouchable. You, 
you, you, you're not able to, 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 to be seen with us. That's right. That's right. We need you. Yeah. Oh, you, you can only hang with a certain bracket of echelon. Oh, you can only hang with a degree boy, huh? Huh? The educated girl. Huh? Huh? But we ain't got no degree, we can't eat with y'all. Huh? But we ain't in the circle, we ain't in the network of the bishops and the prophets. And the apostles and them and all of the all of the boys that, that preach for each other during the year. Ain't nothing to pay back there, but anyway. That ain't got a sign to the body of Christ. They ain't doing nothing but fat in their pockets. And the people are the ones that do. But the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 47 says, and they distributed. They brought the resources to the apostles. Yes, and they distribute it to those that have need. Yes, it's in your Bible. Just read it. That's all. Right. They got to open it up. You'd be surprised what you yes, find right. in that pot of gold. That's right. He says, he said they distributed mother from house to house. They broke bread. Yes. That's the word. They went to each other's house right. and had service. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. So even the shedding was not shed out. Lord, have mercy. And before you get shut in nowadays, they get shut out. Lord, have mercy on you if you ever get shut in. Come on. Nobody had to feel like they were overlooked and, and forgotten about because they had prayer meetings. From house to house, broke bread. They didn't just have the spirit. They brought food too. We didn't just pray for you. We fed you. See, I don't like that. You got a life to do? I know we, we know you ain't work in two, three months. Uh oh. We know you've been out of work because you've been under the weather. You've been eating. And, 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 and you got these bills to be paid. The, when the saints brought forth the distribution, we got enough to go around. Oh my God. <laughs> Lord, y'all don't like this. Huh? Got enough to go around. Who, who in here got children? They got no food in the house. And, and because there was so much love like this, nobody felt embarrassed. Because love covers a multitude of fun. The atmosphere of love is supposed to, the Bible says love is stronger than death. The atmosphere of love is supposed to remove any guilt or shame. Now, it ain't going to, it don't supposed to remove conviction. But it do supposed to remove guilt and shame. To where even if you have a need, you should not be ashamed to ask for help. And you should not be bound by guilt if you happen to mismanage the finance. But you at least should be able to be convicted enough to admit <laughs> that had I managed the finances better, I would have been in this position that this is a lesson learned. Preferably, y'all only have to help me one time. Let, let the church say Oh, y'all, this is sour and all out doors. I'm going to give you another chance. Because all of y'all can talk. You ready? Let the church say See, y'all still love. Never mind, never mind, never mind. To the live watchers, there's a lot of people in here. Some of them think they're cute. Some of them act like they don't want to sing. But I bet you we was at a Cowboys or something. UNCG game? Oh, yeah. They was about to bust these baby here, bro. But you, we can't say amen. We can't. It's hard to say amen when we're bound like you. And shame. It's too bad. 
You don't have to be bound by what was that you said. Right. So right. you won't repeat what That's was. Right. Amen. 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 Even though you didn't want to sing, it still was the truth. Amen. <laughs> it's still right. Your response does not reduce the truth. So even though your response was low, the truth and the stock of the truth is still high. <laughs> See how quiet it is? Oh, they're offended now. They're offended now. They're offended now. I can tell when y'all get offended. Because your silence tells them, it's all right. It's all right. That's all right. That's just some more dying you got to do. All that shows me is your flesh is in control of you. And it shouldn't be. The truth don't pose to cause you to withdraw. The truth is supposed to make you to make deposits. Right. Right. You don't supposed to have withdrawal symptoms. <laughs> Y'all gotta change that. That's why you ain't got no friends. Or the friends you got, they gossip and they up to no good. They're busy about it. They talk about people. Huh? You ain't got no good friends. The good friends they ain't gonna let you act like that. Hello? Family members, they, 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 they ain't gonna let you act like that. If they really love you and love God, they ain't gonna let you act all booze you like that. And wish you watch you like that. How y'all change like that? Just that quick. What's up with that? If y'all do that in here, I know how you're acting outside. You can change up on, on somebody like that in the house of God. Boy, I, it's interesting to talk to some of y'all co-workers. And y'all neighbors and y'all family members. <laughs> talk to some of y'all children. How y'all mom and dad at when they in the church? Oh, how much time do you got? <laughs> Have you eaten? We might need to go and sit down. I don't mind no problem with that as long as you mind. <laughs> they did that joke. As long as you buy it, we gonna sit down and talk all day. Wouldn't that be something, mother? They just say, "How much time you got time?" Mm -hmm. I'm like, Lord, I got to move some more faster than this. <laughs> Still waiting on the purpose too, man. Hey, the heavy weapon, mother. Still waiting on the permit to come in, huh? You got the material on the ground, we just can't build. Yeah. So we thank the Lord for each and every one. Y'all smile. Amen. If you need one, just ask somebody. <laughs> we got smiles in the distribution. <laughs> we got some <laughs> We got some joy in the stock room. Amen. 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 You need a smile or two? We can, we can, we can, we can send one of the others and somebody go back and get you some out the box. You need a case? I'm not right for good. You need a case of smiles and, <laughs> and laughter? Now we don't have no happiness in stock. We want, we got, we got joy. We ain't got no happiness. You got to go to McDonald's and get a happy meal. Mm -hmm. we, don't, we don't do happy meals. We give you what you need. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thank God for you. Thank God for you all. I, I tell you, the tough crowd at times, but as long as you get this word, take it in. God bless you. And, and, and allow him to do a work in you. How, how, many, how many want the Lord to do a work in you? That, that's the question. Yeah. There we go. So you got to want him to do a work in you. Because he's a gentleman. He's not going to force himself. Amen. This is why we shouldn't force ourselves on people. And we should not allow people to force themselves on us. Because God don't do that. You don't do that. You know what I'm saying? And let, and, let, and let me say this. Let me say this. And we're going to pray. Let me say this. Okay? Stop allowing yourself 
to be disappointed. Okay? Learn how to accept the truth for what it is. Amen. Amen. Whatever Amen. that truth is. That's right. And when people and when people are honest with you and they tell you the truth, just accept it. Amen. And move on. Don't don't always <laughs> set yourself up to be disappointed. Amen. See, sometimes we can we can think unreasonably. And we can set unreasonable expectations. And then when truth comes to challenge it, we're devastated. Okay? Amen. If they just tell you the truth, just tell the truth. They ain't attracted to you, they just ain't attracted to you. They, that don't mean something wrong with you, they just ain't attracted to you. Amen. I don't know who that was for. <laughs> Maybe somebody watching, because they, they sit up in here acting like new money. <laughs> Cannot always make things bigger right. when it is small. That's right. Amen. Okay. Amen. They didn't pick you mm -hmm. to do the job. That's right. It's okay. That's right. They went with another person. They went with another company. Mm -hmm. You didn't get the raise. You didn't get the promotion. That's fine. Yes. You, the Lord may be saving you yes. That's right. from something that you cannot see. Yes. Right. One thing about promotion, you can hide problems in promotion. Yes. 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 Say that. That's right. Because if you all if you only focus on promotion, you don't see the problems that come with it. That's right. That's right. And some promotions will become pressure yes. than a place of productivity. Yes. So sometimes you gotta learn how to thank God. I, I'm, I'm talking to somebody that I feel it. I feel it in here. Not just in here, but on the line, I feel it. Because we got to get delivered from that, uh, I call it a yoke. I talked about it last Monday night. We got to be delivered from this yoke called I'm not good enough. Yes. That's a yoke around your neck. If you go by our goodness, none of us are good enough. Because all of our righteousness is the way. Feel the rain. God don't choose us because of our goodness. That's he chooses right. because it is his will for our life. That's what you need to be focused on. Amen. Fulfilling his will for your life. Yes. All right? Amen. Thank you. Are y'all receiving this? Yes. This is real stuff. Okay? Even to y'all young people. You deal with those sorts of things. That's why a lot of times we, we work so hard to try to stay in with the group. Mm -hmm. Because we don't want to be by ourselves. Sometimes by yourself is the best protection. Sometimes crowds look for people to join so they can so they so they can recruit new fall guys. The ones who come in last get blamed first. Somebody ain't listening. You're gonna walk right out of here and get caught up in the web of the sea. Huh? Trust me when I tell you. The one who comes at last is the first to go. Yes. Don't be so don't be so quick to join the crowd, the crew. Alright? Amen. 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 Thank you. And stay a virgin. Amen. 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 Yes. <laughs> Amen. Yes. I see you see. I don't like that. Stay pure. Amen. Don't do it. Don't fall to the pressures, ladies and gentlemen. Don't do it. Y'all move out of my way and let me minister to some young folks right now. You can call me long as all you want. I'm obedient. And every time y'all call me long with it, Pray before it comes in, right after that. Somebody said, I need to hear that. That latter part of the word on the end of that video, I was going through a storm. And I needed that. Come on. That's some young folk watching. That's some young folk that's listening. Stay pure. Remember, we've been in 17 countries. Stay pure. Diseases are real. Huh? 
And some diseases, it's going to take God to heal you. That's right. That's right. The best healing that you can ever get is called purity. Lord have mercy. The best deliverance that you can ever have is don't do it in the first place. It's more difficult to get to visit than it is to not do it. That's right. You just never get involved. Mm -hmm. Just don't do crap. Right. Come on. Come on. Yes. Don't do. Don't do that. Yes. Just don't do it. Don't. Don't even try it. That's right. You got to worry about rehab. That's right. You got to worry about spirit. You gotta worry about busting up your home. That's right. Man. You ain't gotta worry about going in there. That's right. Man. Just don't do it. Amen. 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 Talk to somebody who's done it and lost everything. Yes. And listen. Yes. You don't have to have your own experience in order to learn. Right. Learn from somebody else's experience. That's right. Amen. Amen. Don't do it, ladies and gentlemen. Stay away from it. Yeah. Oh, man, you, man, you scared. <laughs> sure is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need that kind of friend nowhere. You don't need no friends trying to pressure you into becoming an addict. Leave it alone. You know your ABC. You ain't got to go anywhere. Huh? You already know your ABC. They talk to you that in school. You ain't got to go anywhere and drink. That's right. Y'all don't like this. It's okay. Oh, then you need to be home. Tell me how. Tell me how. You need to be home. In what way? This is it. This is right with the body. That's because you don't drink. Don't get impatient with why I minister to people Amen. who are not. Amen. You may not be on drugs, but don't be in so in a hurry that I can't minister to somebody who's bound by drugs. Somebody right now sitting at a table already got the cocaine lined up, then chopped it up, and ready to snort it up their nose. But I get to tell you, don't do it. Flush it down the throat. Jesus Christ has already paid the price. He shed his blood for you and you and you. Brother, I command you to go free today. Sister, I command you to be free today. Every yoke in the store. In the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord, that you would take the taste out of their life. Give them the courage. To throw it away. Hey, that's not my son. Hey, not my son. Thank you, Lord. It's so right now. Deliver her right now. Deliver her right now. She will not sell her body another day. Clean her up, Lord. Purify her. Bring her back to her mind. In the name of Jesus. Allow her to come to herself. She is not the property of him. He, she is not the property of them. She is the property of you. Release that daughter in Jesus' name. Release that mother in Jesus' name. Release that sister in Jesus' name. That's the Lord. Glory be to God. Satan, take your filthy hands off of her. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. Glory. And Lord, we thank you today as we pray for one another. We pray for souls and men and women all over the world. Continue to do a work in us. Bring deliverance for deliverance in you. Give us joy. Give us peace. Hallelujah. Take us higher in you, Lord. Oh, God, allow us to be rooted in ground. Help us to be steadfast, unmovable. Always abounded in the word of the Lord. For as much as we know 
But our labor is not in there. In the Lord. We thank you, Lord. Continue to cover our seed of faith. Continue to cover the Lord in their home. As they travel, God, to and fro. Keep them clothed. In their right mind. Hallelujah to God. Keep their bodies healed. In the name of Jesus. Touch the Lord. Strengthen right now. Touch our men and our women. Touch the Lord. Strengthen them, God. Keep your hand upon them, God. Do a work in them, Lord. Continue to move upon them. Bless them on their job. Bless them in their homes and their communities. Bless their children. Bless them, God. Bless the third and the fourth generation. In the name of Jesus. Raise them up, Lord. In the fear and the admonition of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. We thank you for this church. We thank you for your people. We thank you, God, for so many, Lord, that are watching that we are praying for. Continue to keep your hand upon. Allow your deliverance to manifest today. And we give you glory. We give you honor. In Jesus' name. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Come on, give me my Thank you, Lord. Thank God for each and every one. I'm gonna do this quickly. Amen. This offering time. Amen. God, Lord, we still forgive us. It's more blessed to give than to receive. Give it, shall be given. Good measure. Press down, shake it together, run it over. So they call men to give unto your bosom. And the liberal soul shall be made fair. Amen. Thank God. I'm doing mine right now. Thank God for each and every one today coming out to the house of the Lord and those that are watching. We thank God for your uh, tuning in on our Facebook Live TV broadcast, Spotify, and YouTube. We thank God for each and every one. I spoke with uh, Brother Ryan Clay the other day. He called me. Um, he wanted me to tell everybody hello and um, little Grayson is eight months old. He's doing good, his little baby and his, his little family, little wife, and everybody's doing good. See, Ryan already has a son. He's 13 now. And he's doing really good. And he said that uh, to tell us that they miss us and, and they will be uh, Coming back real soon. Amen. 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 And the young man that came with him, he sent his love too. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. So everybody's doing great. Amen. Amen. They want me to tell everybody that. And I said, you know what they're going to say. Oh, I already know. When am I coming back to church? <laughs> Yep, sir. Yep, sir. You're right. But uh, he sends his son. Amen. So we thank God for all of us that are watching today. Amen. We love you. We pray and pray. Um, you had the opportunity to give dollar sign DTWC Greensboro. Now let's continue to pray for all the Sick and shed in. Let's check on our saints. And I know many of you, I mean, I know some of you are doing that. Because please continue to do so. So we don't want nobody to feel left out. Amen. We want nobody to feel uh, as if they don't have a church home and a family that really loves and prays for them and want the best. Amen. Amen. And I know some of you are doing that. And we, I want you to know I appreciate you 
take the time to do that. Check on the saints. Amen. That is the hospitality ministry. That's the follow-up ministry. That's what we do. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. All right. Uh, we want to say to uh, all those that are watching as we sign off for the day, we pray that you have a blessed remainder of the day on this Sunday afternoon. It's beautiful outside. Amen. And Lord willing, we'll see you all on Wednesday night for our Bible study. Can we make some noise? Yeah. 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 Yeah.